If you ever get flea beetles in your garden, or in other words, your peppers, tomatoes, tomatillos, even cucumbers, end up having the leaves look like lace because of all of these little holes, there's an easy household ingredient I bet you probably have that can prevent this from happening for you. Happy weekend. I know a lot of people don't like to plant in the rain. I actually prefer it even though it's not enjoyable because immediately the plants get hydrated as I'm planting. Today, all of the warm season crops have to get planted out. We had an unexpected frost just on Tuesday, so I'm a little leery, but at the same time, we're so well past our frost date. It really is just kind of hard to determine when to plant out with sort of these weather extremes that are happening. I'm gonna chance it. Uh, so today I am planting garbanzo beans, black beans, bush beans, corn, um, melon, pumpkin, tomatoes, peppers. I've got some flower varieties that are going out, some more lettuce and tomatillos. We're in zone seven. So I should be past my frost date by now, even though we had this frost on Tuesday. I know some people don't like to plant on the rain because they say it's a channel for um, transferring bacteria. I don't personally believe that. I plant in the rain. I know others that plant in the rain. If it's not your thing, then don't do it. Uh, for me, I'm not worried about it. I've been doing it for years. It works just fine. All right, so I'm actually gonna use used coffee grounds at planting time. And this is something you wanna do at planting time, in the hole and around the base of the plant. If you wait and do it when there's already a flea beetle infestation, unfortunately, it's too late and it's not gonna be nearly as effective. You wanna do this now. Let me show you how. Okay, I dug the hole for my seedlings. I opened my little Nespresso coffee capsule. These are used grounds. And let me show you. I'm gonna drop just a pinch in and around. Then when I place the tomato, seedli tomato seedling in there and push that dirt around, I'm gonna add another layer on top. These coffee grounds also add organic matter and a bit of a nitrogen boost to the soil. Just remember, plants don't soak up solids though. We need to wait for this to break down and become water soluble so that the plants can soak it up and get the nitrogen boost. So for now, we're adding this to deter flea beetles, add organic matter that will break down and eventually supply a source of nitrogen to your tomatoes. All right, two beds of tomatoes are planted. All of them have been given the coffee ground treatment. Will I come back and put more on later? Probably. I'll come add some probably in another month and then another month after that, just to kind of stay on top of the flea beetle situation. But remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.